you want to. Welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesperson. This is Rohit and today I'm going to discuss about Spring 25 top new feature for the Lightning Flow. So if you are new in this channel, so I request to you all, please like, share, comment, subscribe the channel. Also turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my site. And please stay tuned in this video because you will be learn new features. Okay, so maybe like uh, you don't know. Okay, so I will tell you how we can learn these new features in Spring 25. Again, please watch this video until end and don't skip any part of this video if you want to learn this new feature. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, if you have like already pre-release of let's say Winter 25, so Spring 25 automatic, you know, upgraded into your pre-release or and uh, now you can leverage this feature right so first feature is like open flow version from the canvas that is very most important because earlier if you need to check the flow version so you have to go to the you know setup under the setup you have to search like flow and then select the flow name and check the uh, view version details something like that starting with the spring 25 release you can open the flow version in the usual tab without leaving the flow builder. Enhancement makes it easier to compare different flow version side by side. So I will show you the practical example for this one, how we can see these all things, right? So now you can see the flow builder. Under flow builder, we have this tab and then number of, you know, versions. So let me open my org. So this is my org. Let me create one flow. Click on this flow options. Once you clicked on this flow, so now you will be see this flow builder canvas, right? And here you can select your, you know, uh, flow templates, right? So it's a new flow. So let me select this, start from the scratch, click on the next, let's say screen flow. And this is the screen flow here, you can see, right? So right now we don't have any option to check, you know, any kind of, you know, uh, version. So let me add some screen here. So let's say, screen one screen one and here in the screen let me add this some text like text data like drag and drop let's say name click on done let me click on the save let's say flow name is the spring 25 flow feature something like that click on the save button and once you click on the same, immediately you can see in the uh, header, like Spring 25, this is a flow, O name, and the version V1. And once you click on this one, you can see the number of, you know, flow version. Right now it's inactivate. Okay, let me create another version. Let's say save as a new version. Click on the save. And again, let me create another version. Click on the save. So I have three version here. How we can see how many version we have in this uh, flow so you can just click on this drop down and now you can see number of you know version this is the first version this is the second version and this is the third version and now you can open the flow builder without leaving any you know page of this browser in current browser window so just click on this one immediately you can see the new tab and it's open the flow version one i hope so so now you can see flow version one so this is the first feature you can leverage this feature very most important for us in a spring 25 right so this is the first feature let me open the next feature and next feature is like keyword shortcut so keyword shortcuts save the time by letting you do things faster without using mouse now you can use the following keyword shortcut in the flow builder like undo if you are using like a you know window so you can use like Control z or if you are using like mac os so you can use like command z same thing for redo save as you can see the lots of command right so how we can leverage this feature so let me open my org so this is my org let me add you know uh, some get record or something like that let's say get record and let me add the like get accounts something like that and let me select the account object from here and uh, i don't want to add any condition for now and just right and here here just close it and under here let me let me try to the command so command is like undo control z redo con command y or you know control y so let me do that like command z so now you can see immediately my you know 
get record is automatically deleted. Let me redo it. So uh, command Y. Now you can see the redo it. You can just delete it, redo it, something like that. So that is very handy feature like shortcut without, you know, oh, click on the, you know, particular, you know, uh, element and see the delete record or redo record, right? So that is the very most important features. So you can leverage this feature in your org as well. Let me open the next feature is, so next feature is next is search in the resource speaker. So if you have like a resource speaker, now you can deep and dive like multiple, you know, resources and the search in the resource speaker is now smarter, bringing together relevant information from the various type of resources. For example, search result can include the record variable, custom level and other global variables, right? So let's say this is the resource speaker. I just search like user. Immediately you can see the user related, you know, resources and you can pick up in your, you know, flow or something like that and before that you can see that you know logo of this uh, spring 25 so let me refresh it and here you can see the new logo here right just let me refresh again you now you can see the new logo that is related to the spring 25 right so this is like the resource builder we already seen right let me move to next feature is let limit number of retrieved records so starting with the spring 24 release you can directly limit the number of you know, records written from the get records element you can either manually enter a value ranging from 2 to 20000 or reference a number resource from the flow so we can see this one previously it was only one option now you can see the different option here so in the get record once you clicked on this get record now you can see new options here and this option is available in the get records, right? So that is all records up to a specific limit. So once you select this radio button, immediately you can see the two, right? This is the default one and make it like a max based on your need. Let's say 100 or 1000, something like that, like that. So you can get the record for this specific limit. So this is also a new feature in your org. You can leverage this feature in Spring 25. Okay, let me move the next feature is like send email with the attachment so previously it was not available this options so now you can send the email with the attachment directly using the send email action within enhance there is no longer needed to the custom action to send the mail to include the attachment simplify provide a comma separate list of the content version id so let me open my flow under this flow let me add the action like action under this action, let me search the action, let's say email, like send email, just search it, immediately you can see like attachment ID. So you have to add the attachment ID, content version ID here, and you can send the attachment from the mail, right, using the flow. So this is also new feature, you can leverage it in your, you know, org. Let me open the next feature is, like immediate input validations. So previously input validation were firing only after clicking the next button in the flow, right? Starting with the Spring 25 release, input validation fire immediately. So previously it was only available on the button click like next button. But for now in this release, you can immediately check the, you know, validation in the same screen without clicking any button. So let me open my O. Under this screen, I have created this, you know, tax name field. Under the tax, you can see the validate input. Just click on this one. Now you can see error message as well as formula. So let me add the formula here. So let me add the length formula. And length formula works based on the length, let's say three. So this formula will be work for, you know, more than three characters on this, you know, uh, tax input. So this is my formula. Error message, let me add the error message. Like, please enter more than three characters, something like that. Okay, click on done, click on the save. And once you click on the save, now you can debug your flow. Just click on this debug one. And in the new window, you can see this, uh, you know, uh, pop up and just you can debug this flow. Just click on the run. And now, please focus on this one, guys. This is very much important. Right now, I'm not entering any single word. Right now, I'm just entering like a single. So it's showing like immediately, please enter more than three characters. Let's say two, 
थ्री थ्री करेक्टर्स इज सोइंग लाइक मोर देन थ्री सो वंस वी ट्राइंग टू एंटर लाइक मोर देन लाइक थ्री करेक्टर्स दिस एर मैसेज रिमूव बाई डिफॉल्ट नो नाउ यू कैन सी फोर करेक्टर्स इफ यू रिमूव समथिंग इमिडिएटली यू कैन सी द प्लीज एंटर मोर देन थ्री करेक्टर्स और समथिंग लाइक दैट right so this is how you can leverage this feature because previously it was only available like in the next button for in this spring 25 release this feature is directly available on the you know uh, you know entering any character so that is mouse clicking or you know entering the characters removing the character based on the you know inputs user inputs so that is very handy features here right let me open the next feature is like display progress indicator so this display progress indicator very most important as a user experience purpose so how we can leverage this feature very most important for us so let me close this one i already saved the flow let me delete this element right delete this element click on the save button and once you click on the save button you can see the here uh this is gear icon just click on this gear icon immediately you can see this option that is called so advanced once you click on this so advanced this option in this spring 25 you can see like so a progress indicator on the screen element so you can change the position let's say simple top screen part top screen simple footer of screen right now it's a top once you click on the you know path you can see the path once you click on this simple footer you can see the footer one right so based on your requirement you can leverage this one so right now i'm using like a top of the screen click on the done and in this screen right so you can see the stages like stage one stage two stage three stage four right so based on these stages you can leverage this one okay so this is the first screen right and let me close it let me delete this get record because i don't want to use this one let me add another screen that is screen 2 let's say screen 2 under this one let me add the tax one like uh, address something like that like uh, address you can use anything as you have like predefined you know data type for the address don't worry for understanding purpose that's why i'm saying this one click on data done let me add another screen let's say screen 3 let's say screen 3 and let me add another tag say or right? that is you know let's say email or something like that right or you can add anything as you want let's say address or let's say shipping address something like that shipping address something like that click on the done right and make it as a same and once you click on the same now you have to debug your flow let me check this uh, progress indicator will, uh, will be work for this you know screen flow or not so, so just click on this one right now you cannot see any screen right because of we have to configure this so how we can configure it so under here you can see the stages so you can create the stages let's say uh, uh, this is the first name like lay so you can use like a name here right click on done uh, here let me check this one or you can create new stage let's a new stage let's a name stage uh name is already there so let me add this order is the first okay click on done so this is the first stage click on done let me add the screen to as a stage you know let me create a new stage let's say address right so address one order two click done let me add the you know screen 3 uh, this is stage and the stage is let's say uh, billing address or shipping address as we have let me check the screen 3 or oh, what we let me add this screen let's see the screen one that is shipping address right so let me add here like a shipping address so here let's say c ping c ping address something like that you can use it anywhere as you want right click uh, on this uh, like a uh, done button click done click on the save button and once you clicked on the save now you have to debug this flow just click on this debug and once you clicked on this debug one click on the run now immediately you can see the name stage this is the name one 
click on the next one immediately you can see the address previously it's the name now you can see the address click on the next now you can see the shipping address because it's a third stage so name address shipping address and now finish button so this is the progress indicator you can leverage this one if you don't want to use this path one you can use the indicator you can change it into this gear icon so advanced and change this uh, to screen that is simple simple one I click on the done save it because it changes in the flow so again you have to save it and click on this debug now this time you will be see the different ui click on the run and now this is the first stage right that is name let me click on the next this is the sec second stage here like address this is the first one we already done click on the thus and now immediately you can see name address and the shipping address this is a simple path you can use this path as well and simple you know indicator here so this is how you can leverage you know new feature in a spring 25 for the flows guys please do let me know which feature uh, do you like the most in your you know day by day routine and please mention your thoughts comments and also please give me the feedback and also i request to you all i already seen let like, lots of the people just watching my video without any subscribing my channel right so i uh, i request to you all please don't do this please if you feel like this is the very more informative for us so please like share comment subscribe the channel and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never will miss any kind of update from my side so till then bye bye take care see ya see you again bye bye take care